right. Um, good morning, friends. We're back on this page with the July 291. Um, I'm going to start working from the top, working my way down, see how much I can knock out today. Um, just trying to get a little, little more experience with this. Um, kind of doing simple, shorter strokes. Do what I can, kind of unwind from a not the best uh, night. One thing, like, uh, I don't know if I should try to get a, a different type of drawing ink uh, to try out with this before I decide if it's worth the worth the squeeze. Like, it's just, I'm not sure if it's worth like all the effort right now. After we're all done, we can look at it and kind of decide it, like if I'm happy with it or not. closer to me, um, like closer to my chest, um, for some reason, like the more inverted the, the pen is towards me, like the, the cleaner, the, or the more control I seem to get with it. Oh, there we go. I'm liking those lines there. Oh, good morning, Red. Thanks for stopping by. We're, uh, Continuing on, trying to figure out this quill. See if I can get all these stones rendered today. Closer, so I don't want to keep going out of frame. There we go. So just kind of warming up for the morning. Had a long night at work. Like, if the lines break like that, I don't mind it. I kind of like the way it looks. Uh, is this a James O'Barr's The Crow Quill? No, this is a Jalot 291. This is a Bernie Wrightson style nib. Um, but thanks for uh, popping in, saying good morning, uh, Art and Times to Jay Ryan. Hope you're doing well, sir. Yeah, the lines keep breaking like it'll just kind of pick up paper fiber because the dang thing's so, so sharp.
J. Ryan says, I'm doing well, can't complain. I hope all is well at your end. Oh, man, I have so much I could complain about, but won't do anybody any good, so... Might as well uh, enjoy trying to control the what's in my hand and everything else. Got to get on that social media and get that dopamine hit, you know what I mean? No, Jay Ryan says he hasn't looked at the social medias today. Yeah, I haven't looked much either. I haven't even posted anywhere anymore lately. Like, it's been a while. Think about just deleting all of it. really active on YouTube lately, but that's about it. Like, everything else I'm just kind of... I don't know, it's like... <clears throat> it's a lot of the same stuff over and over. Did you guys watch that uh, Mark Miller, Joe Casada interview that came out? That was pretty good. I watched... I listened to that at work last night. Did enjoy that. That was probably the highlight of my my day.
a question for the guys in the chat. Like, are any of you guys working on a comic right now? right now I need to tighten that up G. Ryan says, I am, but I'm not really talking about it until I grow my YouTube channel and other socials. I hint at it, but that's about it. Got ya. Yeah, I'm kind of there with you on that. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to promote it and uh, say it's one thing before it's ready, you know? Oh, I saw one thing that's pretty uh, exciting. I guess a uh, comic book artist, uh, he's an indie guy, but uh, Russ Leach, um, I'm a big fan of his channel. It's called Comic Book Black Belt. He's going to be doing a live stream on, um, I guess he's an influencer. I don't even know what you call him. He's uh, someone that does like social commentary and complains a lot, but uh, the Rageaholic. That guy's got a massive channel, so seeing one of your, one of my uh, guess we're friends. Like I don't know, we don't talk a lot, but <laughs> um, but Russ Leach is going to be on his channel. I think on the twenty fifth. So you guys should check that out. He's um, I guess the Rageaholic is going to start doing um, what's his name? Uh, Razor Fist. He's going to do start interviewing. Iron Age artists, like new indie crowdfund guys. So, I definitely want to show that some support and see if uh, maybe I could get on that one day. That would be cool. Uh, Jay Ryan says, I got over 50 new subs on YouTube this month, so the channel is growing and I don't promote it in the usual circles, so the growth is more organic. Yeah, I don't even, uh, like, w before I go live, I I don't even put, um, put anything in anybody's little green room DM groups or I don't put it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, anything. I just go live. Like I am, um, I figure if I go live and people show up, um, and thank you for those of you who do, um, it's not an overwhelming amount of people. Like I, I get enjoyment, um, with, you know, reading the chat, like especially when it's a chat I can keep up with. Uh, J. Ryan says, the growth is slow, but I knew it would be a grind, so I'm fine with the progression so far. Uh, same, I just push the button and go as well. Yeah, I started, um, at least putting a date on, um, my channel titles, because for 
the first month this year that I um, started going live again, I'd just been <laughs> hitting go live. So it said uh, he never streams anymore for like a dozen streams. So you can't even really keep track of what you've watched and what you haven't. Yeah, my channel, um, I'm definitely seeing some growth on the channel, so uh, thanks to everybody that's uh, that's new here. Um, thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for the people that have been leaving me comments. I do read them all. I appreciate it. A lot of the, um, a lot of the people on YouTube, um, like the D wagon people like that, like they have so much lore associated with their stuff. Now that's a big reason why I don't, um, I don't try to get more people, um, that I know in the chats anymore. It's just, it like, I don't really, I don't want that here. Like, I guess is the best way to say it. Like a lot of inside jokes. I'd rather people be able to come watch me uh just throw some lines ask questions about tools or you know whatever just make it about drawing comics not not all the other stuff there's enough channels that do that Uh, Jay Ryan says, yeah, I feel the same. You got to build your own base. That's into, that's into what you're doing specifically. Yeah, that's uh, that's very well put, sir. It's like, when I first started my channel really hoping to become friends with some other people and um, maybe they could help me grow my channel and it's just some of those people like they're <laughs> their TMs are close so I can't even like hit them up like even people that have been on my channel before 
not going to name anybody, but you know, it's people that are do really well in crowdfunding that I've talked to before. Now I, now I don't have access to them, so. Um, there and other stuff cool but you shouldn't need to piggyback off others to be relevant yeah for sure Sorry, I had to run and get paper towels to clean off the nib of the pen. Um, let's see here. J. Ryan says, I've also been pleasantly surprised that I've been brought up in other people's streams when I wasn't around, and all the talk was positive about what I'm doing on my channel. LOL. Nice. Um, you sometimes wonder what the perception is towards what you're doing and so far. It seems mostly positive. Yeah, I, um, I don't think that's how people me like in a positive way so i quit watching a lot of channels recently a lot of people make jokes that i'll never finish my book and things like that i redraw every page and i'm i'm already in my own head enough like i don't i don't need that in my life so i just kind of had to 
cut ties and walk away. Like I wish the best for everybody, but I don't, I don't want to dwell on someone's negative comments about me or them, you know, making me into a joke for content on their channel. Um, Jaren says, I just happened to be looking at another channel. This Roke guy was doing comic review stuff and I got mentioned and he, he and the chat were positive about the channel. So I was both pleased surprised. Oh, that's awesome, man. Congrats. You deserve it. Uh, with that said, I now have Shelby heckling me in the chat telling me I'm using the wrong colors, etc. Yeah, the, the trolling stuff, like it, it's there, isn't it?
Mm, Jay Ryan says, get used to crying in the shower so it hides the tears. Yeah, right? Now I can take the the abuse I get on the internet. I mean, I get it way worse from the people that I love, so... It's more just like, um, as everyone's YouTube channels are growing, like there's just some people that like make old jokes where it's like, dude, you're, you're making fun of me to strangers. Like, really? I don't want to be there for that. I think the hardest thing I'm having with this pen is when it cuts the paper so there's that that blank spot in the line like there is right here like if I try to clean that up it just it cuts the paper more <laughs> and then I'll have like this soggy smeared ink smudge that drives me nuts but like if I step back it's like the broken lines kind of have some character to them so I'm trying to learn to appreciate that this is a, a fickle little pen. <laughs> Dan Plagle, what's up, man? I hope you're doing well. I was thinking about you the other day. Um, Dan Plagle says, listen to Skip over here, become a Kelly Jones and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Not that long ago, I was listening to a Kelly Jones interview, and he, it was about, um, or I don't think, uh, I think it was a recent interview, but um, they asked him about um, Bernie Wrights and um, asking him when he found out he was uh, he wasn't gonna be able to complete the Frankenstein Alive Alive book. Um, 
Bernie Wrightson had talked to uh, Kelly Jones about finishing it for him. And uh, Kelly Jones um, actually got to discuss the book um, with Bernie before he did. And uh, Bernie, like, that that's the one person he wanted to finish his work. its I think it was Bernie Wrights and Steve Niles did the book. And then Kelly Jones finished it for him. All right. Uh, Jay Ryan says, yeah, it's the biggest a adaptation I've faced going from digital to traditional is that you kind of have to accept that sometimes the paper just won't agree. And when you pull that line, it says no. Yeah, for real. Um, try to Bob Ross it, right? Uh, uh, appreciate the happy accidents. Pull a squirrel out of your shirt pocket and say, oh, look at that squirrel. Ain't he a rascal? J. Ryan saying hi to Boop Dan. Cool. Alright, so I got a lot of wet ink down here. Um, I'm going to do one more that's way low. That's where I've been at. So I'm going to do... Actually, I think I'll be able to get to a couple over here. So the rendering needs to be a lot heavier and tighter um, on this back row because this is going to go it's going to hopefully have the effect that it's fading to black just trying to see where the ink's wet and where it's not That line I was just trying to pull is a perfect example of um, when the paper says no. So I dipped in some water, dipped back in some ink. Let's go.
Now I'm going to start working up here again. Hopefully I can keep that away from my arm. I'm trying to think of which way I want to throw the, the lines. Shot off pretty nice though. First couple lines. Oh, okay, I think it's a little too straight up and down. Uh, Jiren says the pattern is somewhat mesmerizing. You just kind of find yourself staring at the shapes. Yeah, it um, when you're doing it, you kind of it makes your eyes wander, man. It's it's fun, but you, like you kind of get like this. You can't like focus on where the pen is. Like you can't strain your eyes trying to watch the tip of the pen because like your eyes just start traveling all over the place. It's weird. There's just so much going on. <laughs> But yeah, the, the quill, like the, leaves a lot of energy to the lines, so. I do like that about it. so much rendering in here, man. Have you guys watched um, the new Roadhouse movie yet? After the stream yesterday, I started. Uh, I started watching that um, when I was eating. Um, after I did the stream yesterday, it wasn't too bad until Conor McGregor shows up. It's like, oh my god! 
It's like, dude could probably knock me out pretty easy, but he can't act. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I picked up some nibs, Hunt 102, G-Pin, etc. I'll be doing some experimenting with them. Well, we'll add this to your arsenal. The Jalot 291. It's got more flex than either of those. Um, Hunt 102s, I think I've had the most difficulty with. Um, Kiritaki Cartoonist, um nibs those are really good there's like the bigger almost arrow shaped ones um g pens are good they're really stiff though but yeah hunt 102 that's my least favorite that i've used and i really uh really wanted to to figure out how to how to use it but I throw in a ton of lines with 102s and just no luck but I, I don't know I think uh, I like I'll break out a, a crow quill 102 and I'll have um, like I'll relive every bad experience <laughs> I've ever had with it so it's already like kind of defeating like trying to use those Just trying to plan out where I'm going to go next.
Uh, J. Ryan says, so far for me at least, the most fun I've had with traditional was doing ink wash. It's very forgiving and it adds a texture and richness that I really enjoy. Yeah, ink wash is fun. Um, <laughs> my only problem with it was when uh, we started talking about coloring at J. Ryan. Um, after that, I was like, gosh, this isn't working. Um, so, and that's like the only reason like none of my new stuff has ink wash. Like, I think I'm, like, more satisfied with a, a finished page that I've done in ink wash than anything else I've done. But... second I'm trying to point this towards the bottom of the page a little more hopefully it's dry enough over here to work a little bit page around for a while because I've got a lot of wet areas at the bottom of the page. So maybe we can get some stuff done this way. Um, J. Ryan says, let's see here. Yeah, sometimes the little bit of texture that you get with an ink wash adds enough to people's lying eyeballs to make. Jeez, a fly just landed on my page. Well, um, lying eyeballs to make it feel more complete, lol. Yeah, that's why people complain about their sketches losing energy when they clean them up. It's because the sketch, it, it, sketch itself is tricking the eye into seeing more than there really is. Yeah, that makes sense, actually.
All right, so one problem with what a, those couple stones that I did that way, um, the the angle's going opposite of the light source. So just want to look at it through the camera and see if it looks right. It's up and down. 